from the action button giving you eight different options instead of just muting your volume to adding new AI features on your Apple device that is not currently coming with your phone to even tuning up Siri to the point where it's talking to you like Jarvis from Iron Man. Today we're going to dive into five different tips and tricks for your iPhone 17 Pro Max that you can utilize if you're upgrading from like an older device like a 14 or even older and as well as all the shortcuts that I'm showing you there will be a link in the description if you want to download them free for yourself getting started with number one using the action button for eight different options instead of just muting your phone like previously now previously if you had an iPhone 13 or below you had a mute switch that toggled on and off and that was basically it but now with that new action button you could actually program it to do different various things like silent mode focus mode uh, camera if you want to use that again if you know even though you have a camera button right here I, as well and don't mind my uh finger here I, I, I jammed my finger inside the car door I'm okay <laughs> you could also use the action button for a flashlight different options here but the main one that in my opinion is the best option is the shortcut option and let me show you exactly how to do that okay so the first thing you want to do in creating your action button shortcuts is you want to go ahead and create a new folder and you just click that little plus button up here on your shortcuts make sure you go all the way over to library then go to new folder and then go ahead and name your new folder let's just name this subscribe to the channel especially if you're getting help so far and then we could just put any little icon here let's just put a little um headphone icon here or gaming icon that, that'll be pretty cool subscribe here and now this folder will be the action button that we will choose and also if you have other shortcuts that you like using all you have to do is literally put that inside this folder and whenever you choose that action button everything will work but the two main things that you do want to put inside this folder is your silent feature. So you can still have that like every other previous phone that you had. Just click the search and then type in set silent mode. So there's two of them. And you want to do the one with the actual bell that's there. And so now we have one that says on. Let's go back and set another one. Do the same thing, set silent. Now we have another mode there, turn that one off. And now we have an on and off. We could change this one called on. And this other one, we could just name it off. And literally all we do is go to the settings and go to the action button feature in the settings. And then you wanna choose the actual new folder that you just created, which mine was called subscribe. So what we wanna do is click on here and go to show folder. And we want to click on that subscribe option. So now we have our new button that's called subscribe and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And then now when you hit that action button, you see those two new options there on and off, which will basically give you those two options that you just created. And you can see my silent is turning on and off because I just created that in a shortcut. But now because this is in that folder, I could also add some other things in in my gallery, which is pretty crazy. And some of the current things that I like to put in my action button is silent on and off, lower and higher the brightness quickly, especially at night. And then flashlight, turn that on. Also have the chat GPT when you do the voice mode. We got create recording real quick, just in case if I need to record a quick memo. Or I have another option here where if I'm on my way home, I can quickly text my wife and let her know I'm on my way home. It also has an ETA of when I'll get there. Another tip that you could also do is set up AI features. Now there's a certain amount of functions that you really like to do all the time or consistently, then you definitely want to start setting up some AI actions. I have another YouTube channel where I respond to sponsorships pretty much the same way, asking them certain questions. And I use ChatGPT to kind of tailor the responses towards that email to make it all easier. This is not a, a sponsorship email right here that we're looking at. However, what I can do is just highlight this whole thing here because I created this shortcut in the share feature called AI actions. I also added a little icon to it and I just push that button and you can see I have different options. I can draft the reply using AI. I could also do a quick summary, make a YouTube script with AI quickly if I highlight a certain thing with my notes, or I could just simply do a sponsorship email reply. And all of that will basically say I click on one of those. It'll actually use my on-device AI model, or I could choose the cloud if I want to and have all this directly on my phone versus, you know, using the ChatGPT app and copying and pasting. So 
the way how you set this up, you go to your shortcuts and you can go to the share sheet as well. If, if you don't have this option, that's okay. Okay, so after you download this button, you can change each and every one of these things however you want, especially even the AI models that you want to use. If you want to choose the AI cloud model, you could do so. However, if you want to use the on-device model or the ChatGPT extension, if you're using a paid account and you want different features, you also have that option available as well. On one of the menus here, like quick summary, you just have text and you can see just summarize this and make sure you see the shortcut input. Copy that to a clipboard and use ChatGPT for the text. And literally that'll be it as far as how that works for each and every single option. So let me just show you if I use ChatGPT to summarize this. AI actions. It'll basically use ChatGPT to summarize this whole thing for me. Boom. As you can see, or if you got a paid account, you could be like, hey, Siri, summarize this thing on my screen. Yes. And depending on if you have a paid account, it may work. It may not work. Boom. As you can see, that also worked as well with just using my voice. The next tips and trips that you definitely got to consider is using the back tap for shortcuts. Now, if you don't know this, but you could also use the back as a button. And I kind of use this for different features, like especially for quick functions like my flashlight and also to turn off my do not disturb modes. So for an example, two taps for my flashlight. Boom. As you can see, my flashlight turned on. Now, if I do three taps, it turns off my do not disturb mode. Boom. As you can see, do not disturb has been or silent has been turned off. I just double tap, turned my flashlight off. Three taps just turned on my do not disturb, as you can see. So different taps that you could do that could actually help you get some quick functionality. So the way how you do that, you go to settings and you go all the way to accessibility. Then you go to touch. Then you want to scroll down to back tap. This is where you choose those functionalities. If you have a certain type of shortcut that you want to use, I created this shortcut called toggle do not disturb. And you can also download this as well. But once you have this downloaded on your phone or you have another shortcut that you really want download it for that back tap option you have all your shortcuts here that you can use and it is super great to have that functionality so the next tip and tricks that you definitely need to consider for tuning up your phone is actually turning siri into a jarvis like iron man situation here so every time i get like a notification or if i get something that goes on with my phone basically it talks to me and i kind of love that feature maybe you might like this maybe you might not so for an example if I use my phone, right? Sometimes you might plug in your phone. It might not be charging. You don't know. You may think it is. You may hear that chime. You may not. However, if I want to actually use my phone like Jarvis, like Iron Man, I set it up to do certain things like charging. See, when I plug in my, my port, it tells me it's charging. So I don't have to think about it. Thanks for the charge. It's thanking me for giving it some juice, which, you know, what I'm saying all iPhones should thank you for charging it. Right. You know, what I'm saying you 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 spent money on the, the energy, you know, you spent time on putting it on the charger. So say like if I get a text message on my phone, it'll also read it out to me. My wife said. Okay. See, and as you can see, that's super great. So say you're just in certain situations where you're just not nearby your phone and you kind of want it to kind of talk to you a little bit more. So one thing that you would do, you would go to Siri, go to Siri responses, and then also choose preferred spoken responses. So more often than not, Siri will actually read to you what is actually giving you the answers to instead of just showing you, that's number one. Number two, I like to, you know, I don't know about you guys, but the British mode for Siri just sounds amazing. Like, I, I don't know, choose voice three. Hey Siri, what is today's date today? It's Wednesday, the 22nd of October, 2025. That just sounds, Siri just sounds so much smarter. I don't know, just let me know in the comments if you like that. Not only that, you would go down to notifications and then you would go to announce notifications and you would basically turn that on. And basically what that'll do is just announce your notifications and, and talk to you a little bit more often than not now i don't know if you would like that or not personally i love this feature just because i just feel like siri is a little bit more communicational with me versus just you know being talked to when spoken now the next tips and tricks that you could also take and utilize is using different focus modes on your phone to actually customize your phone differently for an example i have different focus modes here but let's just say we have one for fitness and also for fitness for an example let's just say we just wanted to use this second little screen or this screen when we're actually working out 
And, you know, who, who's to say that, you know, may, one of those screens are just better for those workout sessions. So whenever we choose focus on fitness here, not every time I'm in that mode, it actually just has those home screens for me instead of anything else. So you can have a, a Pacific screen just perfect for that focus mode. And you could also set that for that screen. So that'll be really great to help you focus on whatever you need to focus on. So let me know in the comments if you like these tips and tricks and what other tips and tricks that you would like to see on this channel. Make sure you add me on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And YouTube says this video right here, you really got to check out. I don't know why, but YouTube believes that you're going to enjoy this video. So I highly recommend that you guys check out this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.